Hi there, my fellow gamers. Usually we have to tell you guys that you cannot have powerful hardware with sustained high power levels and tolerable noise levels at the same time. But this is the ROG Strix G16, and while I am still torn when it comes to its design, it might actually deliver one of the best balance systems on the market right now, when it comes to performance, fan noise and even pricing. As it has been with the 18-inch Strix we reviewed a little while back, ROG's middle-of-the-road gaming lineup comes in a ton of different configurations. Our review unit today is one of the fastest available models, coming with Intel's mobile flagship, the i9-13980HX, and Nvidia's second-best mobile silicon, the RTX 4080. While a 1TB SSD is the standard for gaming laptops in 2023, 16GB of memory in a high-end notebook is a little on the less than generous side. On the display side of things, the all-new 16-inch Strix comes with a super snappy 240Hz QHD Plus IPS display. At the time of filming, you can get this one for about $2,900 US or €3,200 respectively, making it one of the most affordable options with this hardware configuration. If you want to check pricing for yourself, please make sure to follow the links in the description below. While the Strix is well made, it's almost entirely made from plastic. Only the display lid gets a metal treatment and therefore the 16 incher is pretty far away from the premium feel of a Razer Plate or even a Lenovo Legion Pro 7. Build quality is still very good and the whole thing is built like a tank. It's just that the plastic of the base unit just does not feel that nice. The overall design language is also very ROG, meaning that you get several gamer design cues all over the chassis. As is typical for the Strix lineup, it comes with a ton of customizable RGB lighting, and I like the implementation a lot, especially the tinted but translucent keys are a very nice touch. The port situation is alright, even though placement could be better. Last year's Strix had the bigger connectors in the back, which allowed for cleaner setups and less hassle when trying to make space for your mouse movements. The general assortment leaves not a lot to be desired though, and the ROG comes with the power connector, a network jack, HDMI 2.1 and two USB-Cs on the left and two additional USB-A 3.2 Gen 1s on the right. On a machine in this price range, we would have preferred those to be of the faster Gen 2 variety to be quite honest. Regarding the USB-Cs, the one towards the back is Thunderbolt 4, while the other is 3.2 Gen 2 and it's the only one that supports power delivery. Wi-Fi speeds are a very good average for a 2023 gaming notebook, even though transfer rates have been fluctuating quite a bit during our test runs. While it's a good thing ASUS decided to add webcams to their Strix lineup this year, the 720p webcam will hardly win any quality awards. But since it's better to have a bad one than none, I guess it's at least a step in the right direction. Servicing, repairing or upgrading your precious gaming rig is easy enough since ROG makes it pretty painless to access the internals. Once inside, you can get to both SODIMS and NVMe slots and the Wi-Fi card. In addition to the solid RGB implementation, the keyboard is doing a pretty good job in the haptics department. With 1.9mm of key travel and a pronounced pressure point, the switches feel pretty good. If you like the layout, very much depends on your personal preference. While the arrow keys are of a standard size, ASUS had to sacrifice some space for the left shift key. So this layout might take you some time to get used to. The large class trackpad offered nothing to complain about and worked perfectly fine during our testing. The 16-inch display might not quite hit the advertised brightness of 500 nits, but even apart from that, it is an excellent panel. ASUS is generally doing very well in this regard, so the G16 screen is a very solid choice for gamers and creators alike. While we wish the black level would be lower for better contrast, most standard IPS panels are not doing a lot better. If you want more, you would have to upgrade to a mini-LED display. Brightness distribution and general brightness levels are really good, and in regards to color gamut coverage and factory calibration, ASUS also did their homework. With manual calibration, you can improve color reproduction even further, and in combination with the factory profiles in the Armor Recreate software, the G16 is a great fit even for professional applications in video or photo editing. But the ROG is of course primarily meant for games, and while it again not quite meets the advertised 3 milliseconds for response times, the numbers we measured are pretty good no matter what. Alright folks, let's talk performance for this one. The i9-13980HX is currently the fastest mobile CPU in Intel's lineup, and it's able to properly stretch its legs within the G16's chassis. 
In addition, ASUS's control software is very well tuned in regards to power levels and also when it comes to fan noise, but more on that later. We measured wattage and temperatures across a Cinebench R23 run to give you guys an idea of how the 24-core chip behaves in the G60. Compared to the competition, you can expect average numbers from the i9 in the 16 inch Some HX-equipped notebooks are quite a bit slower, while some perform on the same level. Team Red's fastest silicon is mostly ahead, but then again, you will have a hard time finding it in any notebook right now. System performance is excellent subjectively, and you will hardly have to wait for this one whatever you do with it. That said, our PC Mark benchmarks reveal some below average numbers compared to the competition, which is a result of the more limited RAM capacity and relatively slow SSD for such a high-end device. I was able to back up those results when testing the G16 with some of our videos. While it does have enough pure performance for video editing in general, 16 gigs of RAM are easily maxed out when working on a project in Resolve 18, which is what we use to edit our 6K RAW footage. So if you get this one for gaming and work, either opt for the 32 gig configuration or upgrade the memory yourself. If you want to dive deeper into our CPU or system performance benchmarks, or want to read up on DPC latencies or drive performance, please head over to our written review, which I have linked in the description below. In the GPU department, the Strix G16 sits in the perfect sweet spot when it comes to mobile GPUs in 2023. While we would have wished the 80 series card would have been allowed to keep the 16 gigs of video memory from its direct predecessor, it offers a very solid generational uplift and in our combined performance rating, it's able to edge out most 4080s we have tested so far, while being able to get very close to its bigger brother, the laptop RTX 4090. So you get a much faster GPU than the mid-range 4070 offering without having to shell out the eye-watering upcharge for Nvidia's 2023 top dog. Blender performance is impressive as well. So again, if you want to use this one as a mobile CGI workstation and can live with the not quite so subtle design, the G16 definitely ticks a lot of boxes. If you want to use the 16-inch Strix for gaming, you will definitely not be disappointed either. In our standard titles that we use for our rating to make it easy to compare the gaming performance of any given laptop at a glance, the RG can secure itself a place very close to the top. Those games are a little older across the board and we benchmark at 1080p to simulate combined CPU and GPU loads. But even in more recent and therefore more GPU-bound titles, the G16 will hardly leave you wanting for anything and even the most demanding games or in higher resolutions. And with the well-tuned power modes, you can decide for yourself if you want to get the highest possible frame rates and fully utilize everything the RTX 4080 has to offer, or if you are fine with reduced performance and rather enjoy a game with a lot less fan noise. In general, the G16 is a pretty quiet system when idling or under low load, but in those scenarios, our unit suffers from pretty substantial coil whine. Unfortunately, this seems to be a problem across a lot of different RG Strix models. I do not mind it that much personally, but if this is something that bothers you, you might want to take it into consideration. For more intense loads and games, fan noise is very much dependent on the chosen power level, so we put some noise samples together to give you guys an idea of what to expect. I also included a quick test for the speakers that are actually pretty good for a gaming laptop, so you can make up your mind about those as well. Away from the wall and while being cautious about what you are doing with your machine, the Strix delivers some very, very impressive runtimes for a powerful gaming notebook. With almost 10 hours during our Wi-Fi standard test, it offers nearly double the battery life compared to competing devices such as the Legion Pro 7 or Blade 16. Alright folks, it's time to wrap it up for today. With the RG Strix G16, ASUS put together a very well-performing notebook that may have its weaknesses, but mostly left us impressed with what it brings to the table. 
Yes, it's definitely not as clean or well made as some of its direct competitors. But this one got it where it counts and that is performance. The i9 and RTX 4080 really show what is possible in 2023. And while it's still a very expensive machine, it's not quite as crazy as 4090 equipped notebooks. And the additional performance compared to 4070 laptops makes it a much better choice when eyeing for a new notebook this year. Port selection and inputs are a very good average, and the screen is doing pretty well in most disciplines as well. Add in the well-tuned performance modes and stellar battery life and you got quite the capable machine for both work and play in your hands. But please guys, let us know what you think about this one in the comments below. This would be it for today. Please consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It means a lot to us. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex. You have been amazing and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.